Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have this silver glittery eye makeup look for you. And the first thing I always do is prime my eyelids and I use the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And the first shade I'm going in with is my Makeup Geek in the shade Sand Dollar. And I'm just going to blend this all over in my crease. This is going to be my transition shade. So it's basically a light color which is going first in my crease to make it more easy to blend on the other shades later. And I used a sticky tape uh, next to my eye which will make a super sharp line, but you will see that later. Then I'm going in with the The Balm Meet Matte Nude Palette and I'm using the shade Matte Abdul and I'm going to blend this in my crease as well and I'm just going from all the way to the inner corner to the outer corner and I'm just going to blend this. And because I blended that light grey shade, it's way more easier to blend out darker shades, so I would like suggest to always go in with a light shade first. Now I'm going in with Matt Johnson and I'm going to blend this in my crease as well. But I'm using a tinier brush and this is a brush from Suiva Cosmetics which comes in one of their new collections. And maybe we're falling, falling. Now for my next step, I'm going back in with the matte Abdul eyeshadow and I'm just going to blend this one more time in my crease to make sure that there are no harsh lines and that all the eyeshadows I have blended in my crease so far are nicely blended into each other. Now I'm going to use the shade Matte Malloy and I'm going to apply a tiny bit of this underneath my brow bone. And I always feel like this makes a huge difference, it kind of makes your crease blend into the light shade underneath the brow which gives a really nice smooth transition. Then I'm going in with the matte Emmet eyeshadow which comes in the The Balm Meet Matte Trim in the eye palette. So this is a different palette which has more warm shades and the Meet Matte Nude palette has more cool shades. And the The Balm palettes are amazing. I have all their Meet Matte palettes and I will really suggest to like get them if you're searching for amazing matte eyeshadows. They're just like a nice extra add to your collection. Then I'm going back in with the matte Malloy eyeshadow which I have hit pan on which is insane because these eyeshadows are so big, so pigmented so the fact that I really hit pan on it is kind of strange. <laughs> then I'm going in with the Natasha Denona palette and I'm using this super gorgeous silver shade which is the most pigmented shade I had. I really wanted it to be as silver as possible and this was like the only shade that really gave me what I had in mind. I will put the name of the palette in the description bar together with all the other details of what I have used in this video. So when that is done, I'm going back in with the Matt Johnson eyeshadow and I'm going to blend a little bit more of that in my outer V area just to make sure that the edges of where I have applied the shimmery shade towards the matte shades are well blended out and that it doesn't look harsh. Then I'm going to use the MAC Mixing Medium Gel and I'm going to a tiny bit of that straight on the middle part of my eye. You can use your finger for this or you can use a brush. Just make sure you apply a very tiny layer. Then on top of that I'm going to use this silver glitter from the brand Certify and I'm using my MAC 2 for 2 brush and I'm just softly pressing this in the middle part of my eyelid. Unfortunately my camera wasn't focusing, super annoying, I didn't notice. But I think you can see what I'm doing. I'm just pressing this in the middle part. And also I'm going a little bit higher around the crease area. I really want like the most glitter to be at the middle part of the eyelid. And then with whatever is left on my brush, I'm going up a bit higher towards my crease. So then I remove my shadow shield and you can see it leaves me with a super sharp line. And then it's time for eyeliner. I'm using the Inglot gel eyeliner. And I'm just going to apply a line above my lash line and create a cat wing. Save your breath, don't waste your words, I'm gone before 
Now that I'm done with my eyeliner, I'm going to use the John to Blue black eye pencil and I'm going to apply this in my waterline and also I'm applying this at the upper lash line, like right underneath my lashes to make it extra smoky and black. Then I'm going back in with the matte Ahmed eyeshadow from the Meet Matte Trimini palette by The Balm and I'm going to softly press this black eyeshadow right underneath that lower lash line to make it even more smoky and black. And for this I'm using a super tiny brush from Suiva. To blend out that black eyeshadow I'm going in with the Matte Johnson eyeshadow from the The Balm Nude palette. And I'm just going to blend this underneath that black eyeshadow. Going back and forth with my brush and the brush that I'm using is the Morphe M504. Which is a really nice tiny blending brush which is just perfect for this step. Then I'm going back in with the Matte Malloy eyeshadow, the matte shade from the Nude palette. And I'm going to apply a tiny bit of that in the inner corner area just to kind of make it lighter and also a bit more underneath the brow bone. Now for my lashes I use my Anytude Wary Lashes, I have a discount code in the description bar. And for my mascara I use the The Balm Matte Lash Mascara. And then here you have the end result, I really hope you enjoy watching. I made a familiar kind of look. Uh, but more of a golden version a while ago and you guys liked it so much so I wanted to do a silver version I will link that video down in this video if you want to see the golden version But yeah, I really hope you enjoy watching Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy that will be so sweet and helpful And yeah, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye guys <laughs>